Hi friends, it's Sophia and welcome to Sophia's Turning 50 where we embrace our age no matter what it is, but especially if we're turning 50 in 2022. So that reminds me, if you turn 50 in 2022, let me know um, and kind of remind me just a few days before if I don't know, so that way I can mention it here. Okay, today we're going to talk about the signs of a heart attack and I'll explain why we're going to talk about that. And then I'm kind of having a um, show and tell repeat because um, just because I think we could use a laugh. So before we actually get all the way started, um, if you like these videos, please hit the like button and please subscribe and please leave me some comments. And I will try to remind you as we go along. Um, and then you can also follow me on Instagram. I'm thinking of starting to post more stuff on Instagram about this channel. I think it may be time for me to let my kids in on it. I haven't been um, putting it on Instagram or anything because they follow me on Instagram. I didn't want them to know, but I think you know, it's time to let that go. So the signs of a heart attack, oh, here they are. Now, why did I come up with this as a topic? Well, it's because I was just sitting out on the patio, drinking coffee the other day, staring off into space. And I thought to myself, what if I had a stroke? That would suck. Um, and so then I started thinking that I knew the signs of a stroke, but then I couldn't remember what the signs were for a heart attack because I thought I'd heard they were different for women. And so I thought I better look it up because that's just how my mind operates. Does yours do that? Let me know in the comments. Do you think of insane things while you're just sitting around um, drinking coffee and staring off into space? I feel like the reason that, well, I, my conjecture is that my brain was looking for something else to think about other than COVID. That's just my, so it kind of, it went to um, the fun topic of strokes and heart attacks instead. Okay, and just as an aside on COVID, it's on my brain so much because besides the fact that it's everywhere, my job for the last two years has been complying with all the COVID laws uh, in every state because we have employees in every state and I support HR and it's just been all COVID compliance all the time. And so when things peak, I get even more questions and more this and more that, COVID this, COVID that. And so I can't get away from it. Okay, so I know that we are all, you know, youthful and we're embracing our age and we're not looking at the at the at any downside of aging. But it, of course, you know, as I always do, I am um, promoting being aware of your health. Okay, so here we go. The major symptoms of heart attack are chest pain or discomfort. Well, that one's obvious. We already know about that one. Feeling weak, lightheaded, or faint. You may also break out into a cold sweat. Pain or discomfort in the jaw, neck, or back. Pain or discomfort in one or both arms or shoulders. And shortness of breath. Um, now, in women, there's a few more. And so I thought it was really important to talk about that because um, since they're a little bit different, you might not recognize them. Pain in the neck, jaw, or throat, pain in the upper abdomen or back, nausea, vomiting, unusual or unexplained fatigue. Okay, now we're gonna talk about stroke. And the first thing, I don't know why, if I knew this or not, but the burning toast smell is a myth, apparently. I guess it can happen, but it's not like a thing. It's a myth that you smell burning toast when you have a stroke. So I did not know that, and so I'm glad I looked it up. So a stroke is sudden numbness or weakness in the face, arm, or leg, especially on one side of the body. Sudden confusion, trouble speaking, or difficulty understanding speech. Um, sudden trouble seeing in one or both eyes. Sudden trouble walking, dizziness, loss of balance, or lack of coordination. Sudden severe headache with no known cause. Well, a lot of these symptoms sounds like just me kind of wandering around in the morning, but um, I guess I would know the difference between I haven't had my coffee yet or I've had too much wine versus, you know, I'm, I'm having a stroke. So hopefully that will be helpful to you. I'm going to put it in the notes. And I know you know all these things, you've heard it a million times, but um, repetition is good, right? So. Okay, so the only other thing I have today is more um, show and tell of my little diary. and. The reason I wanted to do this is because the news is kind of grim out there and I thought this is just hilarious and we could all use a laugh. And you know what else was funny? I brought my trophy back. 
I, you know, what I was thinking is that if in like 200 years, this trophy shows up on Antiques Roadshow with this diary, they'll say something like, well, the trophy by itself is worth $2, but since you have the diary that shows the provenance of the trophy, now it's worth $15. So anyway, I thought that was funny. Um, I have, some, I just wanted to read more of the very, very early entries um, because they are so cute. They're cute. And then I also realized that I, I, after just a few weeks, I started writing basically like once every six months and then once a year. And it wasn't until I got into high school that I started really writing a lot. So it's only the first 10 pages that are cute. And after that, it, you know, it, it turns into high school drama. So, okay. Wednesday, April 9th. Today we beat Lytle by one point. And then I said at first the results were like this. And then I list all the scores, how they went like inning by inning. Okay. Thursday, April 24th. Dear di Diary, today we beat the Royals by two points. I was so happy. I started crying. Okay. May 16th. Today we beat the Lytle Rangers by one point. Now we only have three more games to play. If we win, we'll be in first place. Okay, what else? May 19th. Today the Royals beat us. They are still in first place. Boo Royals. See that? Boo Royals. Okay. Friday, May 23rd. Today we beat the Royals by four points. Yay, Reds. Boo, Royals. Okay, uh, now we skip on to the summer. Today I went to camp. I was having a good time, but at swimming some people weren't listening. But I was, but everybody got punished. Now what, do you think I was really listening? I doubt it. Okay, so I had a little technical difficulty with that segment. So um, it's a different day, but I'm going to read one last little entry that I thought was really funny. This is Monday, uh, September 28th, 1981. So this is about, oh, I don't know, a year after the last entry. And I would have been, let's see, that would have been the fall of fourth grade and I was nine. Today, I started off being Diana's friend, and now she doesn't like me. She said, I hate your guts. <clears throat> I called her, and she said, she doesn't really hate me. She was just saying that. So, um, and this is the Diana that I am still best friends with um, 40 years later. So, that worked itself out. Okay, um, that is all for my diary. And at the very end of the video, I am going to put in a little snippet from going to the beach yesterday because I thought just a little sound of the beach, view of the beach uh, would be a nice calming thing for us. Okay, well, that's all for today, everyone. Hang in there. Look for things to laugh about. And remember to embrace your age no matter what it is. See you next time. All right, we came to the beach because we needed to pick up Julia in Ventura. And Lily and I stopped at the beach first. It's 10.30 in the morning in January, and there she is out in the ocean.